Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 8.33pm. Right, now I'm going to go through what's just happened. I think that bullying in a massive scale on one person is absolutely unnecessary. If you've got a problem with me, come up to me and speak to me and we can have it out. There's no need for what you just did to me this evening. Absolutely disgusting, vile, despicable behaviour. To be ashamed of yourself. Right. So if we go through what's gone on today very, very quickly. I haven't had such a bad day. Sometimes it's better to be safe and bored indoors than out there with the animals that were out there this evening. Sometimes I'm grateful I've got a boring life. It's dangerous out there. I can defend myself, but I'm more upset than I am scared. Angry. That people behave in such a vile manner towards another human being. I expect it from school children, not from not, not from grown adults. It's nothing to be proud of what they've just done. Vile, vicious savages. So I haven't had such a bad day. I haven't, but some, I don't know who it is, it's obviously a group of people because what's just happened couldn't be just one person at all, couldn't be, possibly. So either they are actresses and actors or there's some weird shit going on. So I went to the cult this morning, Kim wasn't in there. I was served by a big lad that actually looks like my son's hair, haircut that he had a while ago. Big, thick, stocky lad. I did go in the co-op wearing shorts. I'm not going to go in the co-op wearing a coat when it's sweltering hot outside. First time I've worn shorts this year outside. And the trouble it's caused. I got served in the co-op. Great. No problems. Um, I was happy. I was happy doing my videos. Um, I'm on my own. I'm getting on with it. Just because you live by yourself and don't have sex, it doesn't mean you're miserable and fucking... <laughs> It doesn't mean that you don't have a life just because you don't have sex. Someone is sex mad, they're obsessed with sex, right? When you get to my age, right, you get bit things wrong with your fucking private parts anyway. Do you know what I mean? I'm going through the menopause, I couldn't give a fuck about sex. I mean, or maybe on a bloke's mind, it's on his mind 24-7, I'm a woman. I've got other things to do with my life and worry about that. I mean, really. So I came into my flat, put everything away, did my videos, went outside, took Max for a walk, and, and you know, it was quiet. There was nothing. There was I hadn't been answering messages. I'd not been speaking to anyone. So there was no bullshit, no fuckery, nothing. And it was quiet. Nobody spoke to me, nobody came near me. I just walked around the field and I enjoyed my walk with Max in my shorts. I am not hideously ugly. I'm, a, I'm an attractive woman. I've had many people tell me so. So this bully can fuck the right off. Fuck off. You're a wanker. You're a jealous fucking wanker. Fuck off. Stick your nose up your ass because you're full of shit. So, I 
came back home, I cooked my lunch, which I'd got in the co-op yesterday when I had to because my parcel was delivered to the co-op. And I ate my lunch and I had a cup of coffee and I was watching old films on the telly, I was listening to the radio and minding my own fucking business. Sat down here with the blind down because the sun was beaming in through the windows. I've had my blind down all day. And when he takes his kids back home upstairs, that's when it starts to get spicy, but not spicy in a nice way, spicy in a nasty way when he goes out. So this afternoon's walk wasn't that brilliant. People sitting where I usually do in my videos, getting in the way, but I, could, I said I was quite happy I could do videos elsewhere. What is their problem? I don't drink, I don't take drugs, um, apparently I'm a nun and don't have sex, so what is doing a video? What is wrong with that? Dancing and smiling. You fucking cunt. So this afternoon's walk was a bit ropey, but I made light of it and I did a couple of videos and I came home. He still wasn't in. He probably went out for the afternoon. Good for him. I've got some cunt taunting me. What did you do today? I hope you know. I don't care. Somebody needs to find this dangerous individual and stop them. You don't need loads of people to pick on one person. That's not clever and that's not being brave, is it? Setting about 10 or 20 people on one person. Is that really very nice and funny, is it? Not physically, but you know what I mean, I'll explain it. So, before he comes in, this happens seven days a week. They get noisy next door before he comes in. And I mean noisy. And I'm not having it. I'll have it investigated by the housing and the police because there's some link between their behaviour and before he comes in. So, when I come in the afternoon, right, woman over there, long hair, starts sitting with a book. Right, I didn't go out, I'd already been out in my shorts and top. Right, so she sat there, mock pretending to read a book. L really long hair. This is all about the hair. It's all about the hair, the barnet. So she sat there with her extremely long hair, mock reading a book. And then dogs start barking. And remember that the housing have issued everybody a warning about barking dogs. So if that starts again, they'll get another letter, won't they? Idiots. So you've got half an hour to an hour of dogs barking and it must be pissing the owners off to be barking for an hour, mustn't it? So this old granny, this old granny goes past the woman with the extremely long hair with two dogs and they're all, they're all at it taking the piss out of me wearing my shorts, all of them, taking the fucking piss. I don't go outside because basically their behaviour outside is frightening me, it's scaring me. <sighs> 
I stay indoors and I shut my windows and doors because the dog noise is unbearable. It's more than one dog going off. It's about six or seven. And it's loud. All after he goes out upstairs. When he's in upstairs, there's none of it. It's like they're scared of him. There's none of it when he's in upstairs. None of it. It's like they're all afraid of him. Not afraid of me. They all keep quiet and hide indoors when he's in upstairs. They do. I've noticed that. So I'm trying to watch the telly. We've got these dogs woofing for about an hour. And um, I'm thinking, well, shall I, uh, you know, I've got to take Max out in the evening. And this is pissing me off. And then my phone pings, it's Flirt Finder. Flirt Finder, so if we go back to the Flirt Finder. This, this anonymous wanker has deleted his profile because he's a chicken. He's, he's deleted it now. He's got rid of it. He's a chicken. But I've screenshotted his pictures and what he's written. And apparently he comes from Leeds. So these messages, right, he went out about 10 to 2 upstairs. Ten to two. Hold on. So we've got a message at So he leaves the flats at 10 to 2. I get a message at 2.38. 2.38. Hey, hello, how's you? You're gorgeous. Let's chat, get to know you. Single, genuine, nice, friendly fella. Right? These messages continue... They continue. I don't have any more on here, beautiful lady. We can chat, swap mobs if you want. You're so sexy too. John, like to know you. So they're calling themselves John. And someone called John Wick has subscribed to my TikTok. They think I'm a man. Why would they think I'm a man? These messages stop at 7.26. Now we're going we're gonna to go on to what happened when I took Max out just now. Right? So I went out after these messages. And I was feeling upset and angry. Walks up of Tor Corey's Road. Walks out here, up the top of Corey's Road, Rochester, not Chatham. Near the co-op where Kim works and she's blonde. Two dirty blokes. One a grey-haired, bald-headed man with a huge nose. And a sports direct bag, poor die, sports direct bag, is coming towards me as he's got off the bench. And then another one with glasses and grey, grey beard. You're gorgeous, 
You're lovely. Really. And then, if that isn't humiliating enough, this this car is parked usually around the around the um, area somewhere. Open top car. Woman with her boyfriend driving down the road with a car with the nun nun number plate. N U N nun. A nun is a woman that doesn't have sex. She's married to God. Wicked sense of humour, isn't it? Keeping a woman locked up in a cage. Tormenting her every day of her life. And how many of them are involved in this wicked, horrible treatment I receive every day of my life? How many of them are involved in it? goes on to the field. Black dogs. Black diamonds is written on the steps down the bottom. Black die. Black diamond. I know what they're doing and I know what's going on and I will defend my fucking self. Tormenting somebody, tormenting them, torturing them, humiliating them. What for, you savages? You wake up, you smell the coffee. I rang my mum up, I rang my mother up just to check she was okay uh, because someone had mentioned my mother and my mum was washing her hair and she was laughing. My mum Jennifer was washing her hair when I rang her up and she was laughing. Two dirty blokes coming towards me. Two ugly, large, drunken blokes. I'd rather be a nun than be used as a free prostitute. Do you understand me? No one likes to be bullied. No one likes to be humiliated. Right? I have to live like this every day. These wankers bullying me. Mocking me, then going out for the day. Fucking laughing at me when they look like the back end of a fucking bus. All of them. Now we could get on with the rest of my evening. If they just left me in my flat alone to be quiet and get on with my own life without their interfering, busybody, fucking faces. And then everything would be okay. Life is hard enough on your own without them shoveling shit in my face. See you later.